Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Let's Escape from Darlin's Dungeon. Last time, we barely escaped from certain death. It was incredibly disgusting. I thought that was darling for a second. This time, let's get out of this mess. And probably into a bigger mess. And I apologize, by the way, I seem to be losing my voice. But I want to finish the game, so... It's not gonna stop me. Does he know where I am, or...? No, it doesn't look like it. Well! He found me. He took all my batteries, by the way, right? I am the mother of your unborn ch- No, no, don't give him ideas. Nope, I thought that was a window I could run jump through, but nope. I really hope he doesn't, doesn't like pick up the pace. Shh, oh, he's being slow. I don't mind. Where am I even going? How do I even know that there is access to here? Well, I'm dead. He's not a nice person! Honey? My little swinish eyes! You are so romantic, Saiton! I've never wanted you so much! Wanted you to leave me alone, that is! I don't know, you're kind of a cool guy and everything, right? But it's just not working out! Oh, come on! Is there seriously nothing in this room? Oh, there's a door. Where am I going? Can I even jump over this? Yes, I can. Please, please, please tell me I can jump out of here. Ah, oh, thank God. I'm sorry I can't hear you over the sound of the fucks that I don't give. Eesh. That was legitimately terrifying. After that horror story, let's read. Patient, Eddie Gluskin, uh-oh. Lucid dreaming figures remain as murky as ever. Gluskin remains near, claims near constant control of his dream state, yet correspondence between his narrative and REM cycles highly arithmetic. Blah blah blah. Diagnostics: heavy bronchial accumulation. Blah blah. Interview notes. This is, this is where it's going to be interesting. <clears throat> Gluskin remains a frustrating interview subject. He's still trying to tell us what he thinks he we want to hear, while studiously avoiding certain elements of the truth. His childhood remains an obvious fiction. He's claiming to have grown up in Leave It to the Beaver, despite the traumatically violent ongoing sexual experience that is a matter of public and medical record. When I confronted him with the photographs his father and uncle took, he responded with a mixture of laughter and anger, and restraints were issued. He similarly refused to discuss his victims, both categorically and specifically. When I showed him pictures of the women, he would not admit that they were dead or mutilated. He is claiming advancement in the morphogenic engine program that he has not yet achieved, said that he could clearly hear the voice of the war rider just by closing his eyes. Clearly, he's still trying to curry the favor of his doctors. I won't speculate at what he expects to gain by it. What a messed up person, but I'm not surprised that such a person had such a messed up childhood, you know? It kind of makes sense. Anyway, I hope that's the last we ever see of him. Seems like our chances for survival dwindle with every encounter. Now we're limping and in horrible shape. And the rude waffle face took our freaking batteries! How am I supposed to lug around a Satan camera if... 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 Ugh, you know what I'm gonna say, just... Just... oh, nuts. Well, here goes nothing. Is that a battery? It is! Great. 
Now what horror are we going to be shackled with? That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. What was even going on out there? Oh no, this is the kitchen! I hope Cannibal hasn't moved in here. Feed me! Feed me! Oh! Hi! Sorry, didn't mean to intrude. I, it's nice of you to pop in, but... You know. I got stuff to do. Maybe later. Okay, what? What the hell? Like, do you even know how much work and time that would take? Bodies hanging like wet laundry, like skinned rabbits, men mutilated, hunted and murdered. The shortest distance between my two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever story he's telling himself, he's not making women to bear his children. He's making women to kill them. Nisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence it ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation. Bury it in shame. Take away its money. Wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Piss and coppery blood. Meat decomposing to game. Well, if this is what, like, Darling did, doesn't that mean that he's still around? Wow, he really left you guys out to <laughs> hang you up to dry or something. This is not a good day. This is not a good day. Good day would be going to Disneyland. For free. That would be a good day. He's still alive and around. Well, why wouldn't he be alive? He's still around trying to find me. Oh, God. This is where... Fuck. This is where he was going to get married. How many of them want your children? Other side, quickly! His shadow there, like just popping up, that was terrifying. Just in case he chases me here. Yeah. Oh, but <gasps> Fuck! No, you don't. You you don't get to open doors. You don't get to open doors. That's not how this game works, okay? This, 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 this room was for naught. <laughs> like a dumb look on his face. Fuck. All of Excuse me. Oh. Judgment, you little swinish eyes. I'm flashing him. It's, it didn't work. I'm gonna get the frick out of here before he decides to grace me with his presence. Did he not spawn this time, or...? <laughs> oh my god, you're not supposed to! Excuse me, why did the music go away? There we go, thank you! Um, this is not where I wanted to go. This is not where I wanted to go. Lovely honey bunny dumpling sugar butt Yeah this isn't this isn't helping. You gonna help me? You gonna weigh in or something because you're really not being much help. Actually I almost preferred it when he chased me because at least that situation 
I knew that he where he was. What if I had big swinish eyes? No, 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 no. I have small swinish eyes. Leave me alone. My eyes. My eyes. No. No. Well, this is the death of me. Excuse me. Coming through. Okay, this is where he came out from. Maybe this is where I need to go. Nope. I'm gonna die. There's no way I can escape him. On second thought, I don't know where to go. I don't think you understand how biology works. Oh, hi. Oh! This entire time I was such a noob. The key was right there. I am so dumb. I don't want your children. Nobody deserves to have your children. You're gross. You smell like fish and you're a Satan. Who would want to have Satan kids? I know I wouldn't. Would you want to have Satan kids, dear viewers? I don't think so. Okay. Did he lose me or? Are you gonna. Really? You can't see me, you dork? You're a giant Satan dork. All of you. Okay, good, good. So I guess that really was where we needed to go. We just needed to get the hell out of here, but take the key. Like last time I forgot to take the key because I didn't even know the key existed because I was a dumb dumb. Okay, so this really is where I need to go. Thank God. I almost forgot why I was in that area. Thanks, why didn't you tell me that the key was there? You're not very helpful. It's not gonna be that easy, by the way. He's definitely gonna be around here. Well, so far so good. Fudge! Really? One more. I try, and I try. You all betray me. You can hang like the rest of them. Please, no. Heavier than you look. If this is you on the honeymoon, Hate to imagine anniversary. I really am heavy. God damn it, what are you? Damn it, darling! No, you need to be Wiggle, 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 wiggle! I don't know exactly what happened, but it seems that he died. Could have been beautiful. <laughs> Thank God for that. Damn, that's a really sharp doohickey that got pierced through. Kind of fitting. He's dead, the amateur surgeon, father to be husband, his guts shredded and pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh god, Lisa, I swear to you, I'm trying. Well, I already feel safer. Now we just need the cannibal to die and everything will be fantastic. Can even make a life here. Not really. I mean, we know little pig dies eventually, and we also know that um, Buddy also dies. So, I mean, all the horrible people in this place are slowly offing themselves.
This is too lit. Oh, the fire started. The fire from the first game started. Ooh, this is getting good. What? Who was that? Father Satan? Let's just say he's dead. Yeah. What kind of sick fuck would do this to somebody? He even took his damn pants. I'll tell you one thing. I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. And not all of them attached to a man. Let's wrap this up and get back to the truck. Amen. <gasps> Buddy! We were just talking about you. Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, whatever they call them now, they're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out. Escape. I really, really hope you do get to escape. It didn't end so well for the protagonist of the first game, you know? Don't kill me! Well, I do move, I guess. But still! Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress for Rudolf Wernicke from structural and financial systems at Mount Massive. His advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper, and legally speaking, he died years ago, so they were going to kill him. I understand patients blah 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 have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential for the, of the new project. My researchers have combed through Wernicke's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Wernicke is sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his other infirmity, to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff so I can see what comes with my own eyes. Respectfully, Helen Granite. Well, this is obviously setting up the game for a second game. Because there seems to be a second facility that's better shielded and junk. Which is cool, I think they did announce that in Outlast 2 is, was in the works. Which I would be very interested in playing. Hopefully it's more of a, like a... Big experience. Where are we? Yeah, hopefully it's a bigger game than this one. Has maybe I thought they were talking about like adding detective elements like Condemned 2, and that would be really amazing. Like, that was really good and fun and condemned, too. This is really pretty, as fucked up as it all is. Satans! I don't think there are any Satans left to be Satan. So stop Sataning. Wait, isn't this... Isn't this the beginning of the first game? It is! Is this the beginning of the first game? I'm not crazy! Not crazy. Well, not much anyway. Yep, this is the first time we meet Little Brig. Is it gonna be that easy? Can we just walk down the front door? No, no way, right? Park. What? Oh! <laughs> how the fuck are you still? Uh, help me up. Please? Uh, how about no? Jeremy Blair. 
Jeremy Blair, my supervisor's supervisor, a man who's seen me skinned, salted and raped for a promotion and few mar martinis, injured, dying if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him. Really, I am. But there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. Yeah, I wouldn't trust him with anything. This guy wanted you killed. Goodbye. I knew it! Oh, come on, don't tell me we survived all that just to... To, to be stabbed by this dick no face. One know. No one. Well, I don't know why the old rider spared me. Maybe it's not just a evil Satan, but really, it killed me in the first like level of the game. So I don't think it's out there particularly protecting me. Come on, dude, please survive, please. Like, to go through all that just to be stabbed by this nobody, like, really? Come on, you're going home to Lisa. You have kids, and it's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm sorry for the other guy that went in before me. I hope he survived, but we both know better. Come on, dude. You can do it. Maybe we can steal his car. That would be the ultimate dick move if he survived. We really are about to steal his car. Goodbye, Murkoff Asylum, Satan Place. It was not good being here. Are we actually going to survive? Please. Who is that? What is that? Please escape. And we don't know what happens, of course. You press that button. It's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, There'll be nothing to murk off but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? It's not about hurting Murkoff, it's about like bringing them to justice, I guess. It's about letting the world know what's going on. It's not just a revenge thing, dude. Upload. Dun, 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 dun. So Murkoff is basically Umbrella now. Wow. That was really fun. I really enjoyed it. That was a good DLC. It was actually pretty uh, lengthy, relatively speaking, to the DLC length. That was fun. Uh, I don't know if it's better than the original game, but it was comparable. I felt that the design was a bit more confusing this time around. Like, it wasn't clear a lot of the time where I needed to run around. Probably half of it was my fault, but still. Yeah, now. Well. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time, and I really don't know at this point. If you have any suggestions, feel free to throw them around. Take care. Till next time. Bye bye. I missed it. Messed it up. Bye.